Okay, we are back now. Uh, I want to talk about the difference between a peer speci uh, support specialist, a uh, recovery coach, a life coach. Uh, some of the um, uh, people that have called in or emailed me have wondered what are some of the differences. So let's talk about what is a recovery coach. A recovery coach is a person that works with and supports individuals immersed in addictions. Uh, and coaches people in recovery from the abuse of alcohol and drugs, gambling, excuse me, and other eating disorders um, or some other sort of addictions. Sometimes the recovery coaches who work with people with addictions have been referred to as peer recovery support specialists, otherwise known as RSSs. A sober companion, recovery co associate, or a quit coach are uh, other terms for them. In all cases, these terminologies describe the same job description, a person who meets with clients in order to aid in their recovery from addictions. Even though many certifications for recovery coaches are classified as peer recovery support pra practitioner certifications, I prefer to use um, the term recovery coach in describing a person coaching an individual in recovery from addiction instead of using the term peer, mainly because there is no requirements that uh, a recovery coach be a peer, meaning that they are an addict in recovery. Although it may be believed having experimental knowledge in the best practice of a recovery coach, it could be a recovery coach, uh, their own personal experiences, not just what they read out of a textbook that makes it so much more effective in helping people. They help people, as not only their peers, their family and friends. <clears throat> I have kept the term non-clinical out of this definition of recovery coach because over the course of several years now, I have seen drug and alcohol counselors, family and mar marriage count uh, therapists, licensed clinical social workers and interventionists, psychotherapists and psychiatrists trained to be recovery coaches and then add coaching to their resume. I hear from these individuals that they embrace the coaching approach and merge the knowledge that they have as um, 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 interventionists or uh, therapists with recovery coaching methods. Some individuals seek recovery and sobriety from addictions by frequent a recovery community organization, otherwise known as a RCO, or Recovery Support Center. An RCO is an independent nonprofit organization that led uh, and governed by representatives of local communities of recovery. There are recovery coaches at these recovery communities organizations. These coaches have very diverse backgrounds. I have met coaches that were addicts, homeless, offenders, teachers, lawyers, and highly educated individuals who choose. Uh, choose to help another person in recovery because, like me, it helps themselves. I have seen these coaches espouse 12-step ideology as well as non 12-step recovery models such as Buddhist recovery, moderation management, kundalini yoga, or harm reduction. Sometimes the recovery coaches at these centers receive salary from the RCO. However, the client is not charged for recovery coaching services. RCO recovery coaches can be also volunteers like I am, opting to perform their coaching duties for non-reimbursement at all. Lastly, recovery coaches can be employed by treatment centers or sober living houses and receive compensation from them. In these cases such as this, this client is billed for the coaching services from the center or the homes. I know many recovery coaches who have open transitional living home or supportive sober living environment. They coach the people who reside there at the location and their presence adds to the quality of recovery experience. Is recovery coaching covered by insurance? Unfortunately, the answer to this question is absolutely not. No independent health insurance company covers services of recovery coaching uh, with an individual uh, in recovery from an addiction. There is currently only one state here, New York, that has an arrangement with the state's Medicaid office to reimburse for recovery as dependent as a substance. Um, other states, Tennessee, Maryland, Massachusetts, uh, are formulating similar Medicaid payment plans, but these reimbursements are not yet in place. What is peer-to-peer -peer recovery support specialist? A nearly universal definition of peer-to-peer -peer recovery support specialist is an individual with lived experience who has initiated his or own her recovery journey and assist others who are in early stages of a healing process of recovery from psychic, traumatic, 
traumatic and substance use challenges and as a result can offer assistance and support to promote another peer's own personal recovery. A peer-to-peer -peer recovery support specialist, also called a peer-to-peer -peer support practitioner, peer mentor, or certified peer. All of these terms basically describe the same job. More and more, this job description is focused on peer-to-peer -peer recovery support, working with a person in mental health recovery. The certified peer-to-peer -peer recovery support specialist workforce is relatively new in behavioral field. With state-recognized certifications programs first emerging in 2001, within this short time frame, states have recognized the potential and effectiveness of peer specialists to improve consumer outcome by prompting, uh, excuse me, by promoting recovery. Many social service agencies pay the peer's salary, and the client does not pay for coaching. In the mental health behavioral health field, when referred by social services agency or mental health treatment, Organizations reimbursement for peer-to-peer -peer recovery support specialist is covered by the health uh, plan or Medicaid. Peer-to-peer -peer recovery support specialist can also work independently uh, from an agency and be reimbursed by the client or family. Peer-to-peer -peer recovery support specialist can also choose to provide these services. What is a recovery coach? A recovery coach is exactly what I do. I help people recover. I help people learn to live with their addiction. It is not to eliminate their addictions, to teach them how to learn. A professional recovery coach can receive training from uh, any of the 200 organizations that are out there. Um, uh, my training was do done through a professor, a doctor, uh, Luis Gonzalez, and uh, here I am today. A professional co uh, recovery coach can assist a client with a variety of coaching interventions, including, but not limited to, addictions, dealing with mental health diagnosis, divorce, financial downtown, uh, downturns, grieving, uh, career change, many other things. Again, health plans do not reimburse for the coaching services. Um, so you know the difference between a peer specialist, a peer recovery specialist, and a recovery coach and then there's life coaching. Life coaching pretty much wraps all of those into one except for um, they really <clears throat> most of them can't talk from an addiction point of view unless they've had the addictions. Um, so uh, we spoke about all that. Now following this now um, will be the interview with Stacy Lynn Boyle and I hope you enjoy that. Uh, I believe it's 10 questions. I read them out loud to you. Uh, let's see what she has to say and uh, let me just go to a commercial break and just talk about God. Did you make sure that this morning while you were on your knees you prayed to God and thanked Him for another beautiful day? If not, please do so. 24-7, walk and talk to God and your life will become better. <laughs> 